What's up guys, Jordan with 4th Down Golf, back for video number two. I'm going to give you a little what's in the bag for my own personal golf bag, and then also give you guys a recap of what I've been doing for the past two or three weeks. So to start off the video, I want to talk about the job I currently have. So I got a job down at Dolphin Highlands Golf Course in Harrisburg. Um, what I do there is pretty much deal with the carts. Um, I've been starting a little bit and I've also been rangering the course a little bit. Um, right now I'm doing a couple different things just to get started. Uh, see what I like and see what I'm best at to be honest. Working in particular is one of the reasons I haven't been getting a lot of videos out. Um, I do work a lot of hours there. Um, they're pretty long shifts. But I'd say it's definitely worth it. Um, being around a golf course like that is definitely something I've always wanted to do. And, you know, free golf is just a plus on top of all that. Dolphin Highlands is one of the nicest courses in central PA, I'd say. Um, it's The fairways are perfect. The greens are fast. Um, I've only played it once so far. I just started working there a couple weeks ago, but hopefully get to play it a lot more and just get used to the course a little bit more. Hopefully learn it a little better and then hopefully shoot lower scores there. So one of the second reasons why I haven't been able to dish out a lot of videos is because of football workouts, um, lifting four to five times a week, trying to run a lot. You know, it's... It's a lot with working while working at the same time, but you gotta do it. Obviously, football is my number one sport right now. Um, playing it in college, so you gotta take that seriously above everything else, cause you know that's what I chose to do. Side note about football: um, I think we're gonna have a great season this year. Everyone's working hard. Uh, we had a great spring, so watch out for the diplomats in 2019. So now I'm gonna get into the meat of the video, which is my what's in the bag. So I'm gonna go through all my clubs, um, woods, irons, putters, and wedges. And I'm gonna give you how I feel about each one, what they are, and then if I'm looking to get any new ones. And what the other aspects would be, kind of like what bag I have, what balls I use, what glove. All that kind of stuff so we'll get into that now so we'll start off by looking at the driver um, right now I'm using a tailor-made 2016 M1 um, I have it on a stiff shaft and the stock grip um, the thing I like about this driver is that it has the weights in the back <clears throat> um, you can change that with fade or draw tendencies and then you can also control the spin rate with the vertical um, track so also with this driver you can control the loft that it's set at um, it's 9.5 is the standard loft on this club but you can put it up or down 1.5 degrees in this clip we're going to take a look at a swing with my driver the weight in the club head is set to facilitate a draw of the golf ball you can see a slight draw in the flight path so next we'll take a look at my woods and hybrids um, for my three wood, I have an arrow burner. Um, again, stock grip and stock shaft. This is a stiff shaft. Um, I really like this because the head is kind of thinner, as you can see right there. Um, it makes it a lot easier to make good contact with the ball. Um, and then also, look at my three hybrid, that's also arrow burner. Um, for the woods and hybrids especially, I like this line of product. Um, again, with the nice thin head, um, and again, stock shaft and stock grip, both stiff shaft. And yeah, these I've had these for a couple months now. Um, I can say nothing but good things about them. So next we'll take a look at the irons. Um, I have the tailor-made RBZ irons. Um, I've had these probably for three or four years now. Um, I love these. They're not gonna leave my bag anytime soon. Um, stiff shaft, steel with the stock grips. I might look at getting these re-grips soon, but 
yeah, I, I love these clubs. I'm not going to switch them out anytime soon. So in the irons, I have five through pitching wedge. Um, I tried a four iron a couple months ago. Didn't really like it. Didn't think I really needed it. So I got rid of that. That was also a tailor-made RBZ. But right now I'm just staying with the five through pitching wedge. So taking a look at the wedges now. Uh, right now I have two tailor-made ATV wedges. Um, 52 and 56 degree. Uh, I'm looking at maybe switching out the 56 degree for a 60. Possibly a 58. Um, I used to have an ATV 60 degree. It worked well, wanted to see what the 56 would be like. Had it for a few months now and not overly pleased with it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I might go back to the 60. Here's a clip of a swing with my TaylorMade 52 degree ATV wedge. I say this wedge is probably one of my favorite clubs in the bag. This is about a half to a three quarter swing that carried almost 90 yards. And if I remember correctly, it was within a few yards of the pin. Last but not least with the clubs, we got the putter. Um, nice head cover on this. Right now I have the TaylorMade TP collection. Um, this is the Juno model. Um, it is a blade with two 10 gram weights on the bottom. And then I have the Superstroke 1.0 pistol grip on this. Um, very thin. I had a jumbo 5.0 grip on my last putter. Um, I didn't hate it, but I just wanted to try something new with this one. I've had this for probably about eight months and I actually really like it. I switched to the blade because the mallet was, it didn't have enough feel. Um, when, when you putt with this and you can feel the ball off the face really nicely, it has a great feel. See it right there. Then there are the weights on the bottom. Definitely can feel that in the putting stroke. Here are a couple clips of putts I made with my tailor-made TP Juno putter. I really like the amount of feel from the blade style and also the weights help with pacing the speed of the putt. In terms of what ball I use, um, I go with the tailor-made Burner Soft. Um, it's a very soft ball, it has a soft feel you know, with the irons and putting. So I'm not a big believer in, you know, the Pro V1s, TP5s, all those premium balls, $45 a dozen, you know, I'm not, I'm just not a big believer in that. Um, this was about, I think $20 for a dozen. Um, it has a premium feel, but it just doesn't, it's not to that level of softness and you don't get that level of spin from it. But I mean, at the level of golfer that I am, you know, I'm not obviously a pro or anything like that so i think this is a really good ball for me um it, it, like i said it gives you that soft feel and it does come at a low price point so in terms of what glove i'm using right now i'm just using the generic titleist glove um i played probably three rounds with this and i don't know after the first one it started showing a little bit of tear um I don't usually get this type of glove. I just kind of got it because it was at the course and I needed one. Um, usually I go with a TaylorMade or Nike glove and I might be switching back to that after this one is completely done. But it's not bad. It's nice and soft, but just durability I have questions with. So that is my bag. Clubs, balls, glove. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely throw me a subscribe. Leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and until next time. Did you do that last time? That's how you shoot a golf ball. <laughs>